Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel, or hi if you're new. I'm Anna Mae, and today I'm going to be talking about everything I made in 2021. I've always been kind of crafty, I guess, so I've been able to sew since I was pretty young, but I haven't made that many, or pretty much at all. I'd made clothes for dolls, but I had never made clothes for an adult human. That's kind of how long it has been since I really tried to sew garments. I, you know, use a sewing machine plenty and I'm a needle pointer. So I'm very familiar with all of these kind of things, but to really delve into making garments is something that I only started in 2021. Most of these are also like in the later part of the year. I just took a notion to start sewing and here we are. So the reason I'm making this in October as opposed to maybe December or January is because I'm actually moving. I've shared that in some of my previous videos. Um, it's very recent. By the time this is going up, I will probably have moved because I'm doing this in like two weeks. So like two weeks notice. I'm leaving in like six days. So I won't be making anything else. I actually have an abandoned project and um, yeah, I won't be sewing anything else for the rest of the year. I will still be needlepointing. You can follow me at AMK Needlepoint for needlepoint stuff or at Anime by Design for regular stuff. Um, and you'll see all of these pieces in action. I'm gonna walk you through everything I made and talk about patterns, what I liked, what I didn't like, fabric choices, etc and I guess I'll just get into it. So these are all the pieces that I made. They are in no particular order. Um, I'll probably mention what I made first and last. I should actually talk about this dress, which you can't see super well. Um, it is another one of my makes this year. I just decided I would wear it for this video. Um, it is the Butterick 6262. Uh, so it was a really basic dress pattern that I bought just to have for hacking and to, you know, I just thought it was super versatile. Uh, I did not finish the back of it super well. Um, at the waist it doesn't quite match up but it actually looks fine to wear on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, there might be some loose threads on these but that's just an issue I have. I never cut threads off things. Um, it just takes me forever to do it. So this is one of my more recent makes. It was obviously made for the autumn um, to wear with like brown tights and boots and it's really cute. It's not going to come with me I don't think. Um, with on my move but I thought I would wear it today and I'll probably wear it sometime this week. So I'll start off with the abandoned project because I was really excited about this um, but I wanted to give a little shout out. You can see there's like still pins in it and everything. This is the Paddington top from Peppermint magazine um, and it's obviously not fully done. It, I didn't have enough fabric it, this whole thing got very confusing. I didn't have enough fabric so it's cropped and whatnot. So um, I did manage to sew in the facing but it hasn't been understitched and needs to be pressed, whatever. So it doesn't look like the Paddington top now. It's in this gorgeous tencel that I got from Pigeon Wishes. I can't remember. I'll have the shop link down below. I got it at the Knitting and Stitching show. Um, this fabric, that's why I didn't have quite enough for the top. Um, and it was also poor cutting out but I wish I had this finished but I don't and I'm not going to. I'll finish it another time, it's pretty simple. But that's the abandoned one. So the next pattern I want to talk about is the All Well box top. I'll have, as I said, all the patterns linked down below. And I have made three pieces using that pattern so far. So I bought the pattern and hacking guide, which is, if I can find it, I'll link it down below. Um, and it's definitely well worth it for just making everyday items. So this was actually one of the first pieces I made that was more simple. All of these need to be ironed but I haven't done that and I don't have time to do that right now. So just take take them as they are. So this is just a little crop top. Um, I, these are all made in the same size, but the hacking guide really gives you a lot as to what you can change and stuff like that on the patterns. So this is like the most simple version. It's the cropped version, I believe. Um, and this is just out of a poly cotton. I just loved, if you can see it, it's like a two shades of pink gingham. So. I just wanted to use that. I did make a pair of shorts using some basic shorts pattern, like digital pattern I got on Etsy and they turned out horrendously. I don't even know where they are. So they're, they're hidden away. Like some of my makes I'm not super happy with, but they are so ugly. Like my mother was in tears laughing when I put them on. So it was going to be a little PJ set, but honestly it's kind of sheer. So I ended up 
wearing it as a top and it's cute so that's fine and these are my more successful box tops and these ones have peplums but as you can see they look quite different so this one is made out of a shirting fabric that I got for a really good price and I love um, like shirting and I love that kind of those blues and you know that texture and those colours so that's where and I think I got the shirting from Minerva and then this is obviously a little red tartan and it's just like a polyester um, I got this in an actual fabric shop so what you can see what's different about these is like the length of the body and length of the peplum so I ended up shortening I didn't have quite enough fabric is one of the reasons why or the main reason why actually and um, I found this top really cute but a little bit long I'm not a very tall person I'm about five foot two so doing it according to the pattern it was just a little bit long I still love it it's a really easy throw on top and I wanted to make like a winter version just to wear with like black jeans and boots so um, I ended up shortening the body by I think three inches and then the peplum as you can see that's the biggest difference the peplum is like less than half of the length and that is just because I didn't have enough fabric I just did it <laughs> with as much fabric as I could so um, I think it turned out really well and this will be coming with me and so will this adorable little scrunchie I made from the scraps so I actually managed to use up a lot of fabric with that but definitely recommend the box top pattern and hacking guide because it's just really really versatile okay so next I want to pull out this one this is one that I'm not super happy with um, I really liked this fabric originally and now I don't which is unfortunate um i will link or list i'll list the pattern down below that i used um i don't like the pattern there's way too much fabric in the skirt um and it is supposed to be like a more of a vintage style pattern but anyways i added this um because i made this in i think a uk 14 which usually i'd be about a 12 especially when i'm making my own stuff i would typically make a uk 12 um but can for tops can definitely go to a 10 but I was so sure I ordered this pattern in the like 6 to 12 version as opposed to the 14 to like 22 version and or I don't know what size goes up to but it wasn't I bought the wrong size so I had to make it in a 14 um, and I did and it is too big it just doesn't look right because it should be fitted on the body and I just wasn't willing to put in the work that would make it fit perfectly so I kept it you know because I made it and it has pockets which is fun but do I like it no but at least my you know past life in ballet allowed me to be able to do things like this so you know I could kind of adjust it a little bit but I just don't like it that much so that's unfortunate and I mean what can you do also for the this was supposed to just be gathered but I ended up using a fork to try and if you follow me on Instagram you would have seen that I used a fork to try and like make it like pleats so it was not quite as thick because so it was just an absurd amount of fabric so don't love this but don't know what I'm gonna do with it either so again if you follow me on Instagram you would have seen this because I wore it all the time in Madrid Um, this I cannot remember it's from Coralina Patterns but I cannot remember the style name it'll be linked down below I think their it's, Etsy shop is closed right now but I love this dress it's kind of hard to see because the zip is kind of throwing it off but it is a deep V and it has little gathers here at the shoulder it's got these little loose sleeves little gathered puffy ones and then a flowy skirt and I made this in a really lightweight fabric which was kind of the first time trying that but it worked really well anyways um, I love this pattern we'll definitely be using this pattern again I wish I could remember what it was called but um, it's linked down below anyways I did actually end up just using like Wonderweb for the hem because it's such a lightweight fabric but at the same time I didn't need a slip or anything underneath it so we'll be using this pattern again for sure and it wasn't difficult to put together either I think the pattern says that you should have lining but I didn't do lining and I think it turned out just fine perfectly fine because I'm just not big into like the real polyester feel lining don't love it if I could recommend any of the patterns I'm using in this like it's the box top and this are probably like 
the best value for money I'd say. So I think next I'll do one that wasn't necessarily a pattern. Uh, I did a video on this. If, I'll actually be linking all the videos that I did for each of these um, garments if you're interested in more detail. But this was supposed to be like a cute little sundress, kind of like the Hill House nap dress but not really because it's a different style. Um, I just saw this fabric and I loved it and I still love it. Um, I, If you watched the video when I did this I tried to use regular elastic instead of sharing elastic to do this and it was absolutely awful. So don't do that, learn from my mistakes. Um, I still really like this dress, it is very very tight on top um, but I mean it's fine. I didn't have enough fabric, again what's new, but still I mean I wear it so that's good and um, yeah I think I know in the future what I would do differently. Um, I would have much more fabric in the skirt but you live and you learn. So I'm going to save some of my favourite ones for last but I just thought this little set needs an honourable mention. Uh, this is a little pyjama set. Uh, again this is an Etsy pattern. I cannot remember the shop name but it'll be linked down below. This was a little bit confusing um, because of what do you call it? I can't remember the name for the thing that's like across the back of a shirt and whatever, like this whole separate neckline situation um, and these little ruffle sleeves, but it was definitely worth it. Like I needed to figure out those sewing skills and I think it's a really adorable top. I would actually consider making this top like not as a pyjama top in a pretty like viscose or something where it would be really flowy um, and I just made it out of this uh, cotton that I got on sale. And I made matching shorts. The shorts are cute. They have this like little side situation. They, the way they're shaped, it's a little bit like a nappy, like it's a little bit diapery, but I still will wear them. They're cute. Um, they're not the most comfortable. And I would, as I said, I'm like quite short and it's my torso that's the short part. So like in this dress, I have taken up the waist um, and it could come up just a fraction more, but <laughs> This, it's like so low down that it's a little bit of a nip slip situation. So I would maybe adjust that if I made it again, but I still think it's a really adorable pattern and I have definitely posted a picture in this on Instagram. So second last is my first sewing project that I actually did, like as an adult basically, let's say. And that is this cute little puff sleeve top. I have also posted pictures in this on Instagram. This was really a learning process and I've learned a lot of things about this. So my seam allowance is completely wrong at the bottom and that has caused the ties to be in a wrong in the wrong place, um, which I now know, but I did not know at the time. It's kind of funny for me to look at it now because I could never figure out why it was just not sitting right and now I, I know. I don't necessarily want to go back and fix it because I, I just don't want to risk it, but I would probably make this item again in a different fabric. I just adore this pink. Um, I would make it again in a different fabric but you know correctly um, but it's still so cute and this was just um, an Ecotex cotton or it's a more eco-friendly cotton and I just love this print so much. I have a bunch of masks made out of this. I actually should also mention that I have made so many masks um, in most of these fabrics except for obviously like the viscose and this really lightweight fabric as well because it, they're too lightweight but this has super cute puff sleeves and I would definitely like take the sleeves from this pattern and put them like hack them with other ones because I love them so much and last and definitely my favorite is this top so this top is actually the dress pattern from by hand London and um, the did I say that the Hannah dress um, but you can also do it as like a tunic, as I say. It's a top, like it's a short top. Um, so I don't really, I wouldn't really call it a tunic, but it is in this gorgeous green linen that I also got on sale. That's kind of how I choose my fabrics. Um, because I'm still learning, I don't really want to invest too much in fabrics. And I did the bishop sleeve option, but I elasticated the cuffs instead of doing ties because, you know, don't have the time for that. And I also just used bias for, like bias tape, for, or bias binding for the inner tie because it's less bulky. The tie for this was a little difficult to make because they're, they're pretty long and there was a lot to like pull through but it was definitely worth it. This will probably come with me um, on the move. It's just that it's quite heavy. Uh, you wouldn't think that this type of fabric is 
this heavy but it really is and um, it is also very very low cut but that's fine I mean just wear like a bralette with it or something and it works out perfectly so that is probably my favorite make I don't have any tags on any of my items but because I have a needlepoint shop I've experimented with the like stickers and tags and stuff like that for my canvases and I actually purchased fabric tags that say AMK needlepoint uh, at one point and I don't use them anymore on my canvases so I've thought about attaching them to all these but I just haven't gotten around to it. So that is everything that I made in 2021. I won't be sewing for a while but if you want to see any of the previous sewing videos I've made I will have them linked here. You can also follow me on Instagram at Anime by Design and I will see you in my next video.